tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 next gen build video. And today I have a special build for you guys, man. This build is amazing. I ain't gonna lie, man. We have the height for this build, so he will be taller than a lot of guards. I see a lot of little small guards still running around here and there. But this is a big body being, man. I'm talking about you will be able to finish with the contact dunks. That will take you to another level. You can make plays with this build. Great passing build. Great ball handle. And you will be able to play some defense. I take pride in defense, man. I always want to give you guys a build that has some defense. Not saying you will be a great defender. But if you got what it takes to be a great defender, you can be whatever you want to be. And I'm going to make sure I give you some defense to help you out. Point guard position. Choose the hand of your choice. And the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But you already know, man. Hit the like button. Let's get the video to 50 likes. It's simple, man. It's free to support. You don't need anything to support. Use your index finger or use your thumb, whatever you want to use, and hit that like button. 6'9 for the height, 194 for the waist, 7'7 seven, seven wingspan, built by the shape. Let's get it to the build. So this is a diamond inside out score. So that means you can pass the ball really good and you can shoot really good, okay? But we're going to start with the defense. A lot of people are probably thinking this build don't have a lot of defense, but boy, 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 are you wrong. So we're going to take that interior defense up to a 67. Not necessarily worried about stopping people in the paint. You're not going to be in the paint like that anyway. But if you do get stuck in the paint, you will be able to hold your own down there for certain builds. For the perimeter defense, we're going to get that up to an 86. And that will allow us to get silver clamps. Silver clamps is very important. You want to be able to slow people down on the perimeter so they can't just get to the rim. I just hate to see, like, sometimes, um, you know, people don't have no resistance like i understand clamp breaker is a hell of a badge i ain't gonna lie if you got clamp breaker real high you're gonna go past people with low uh perimeter defense trust me on that you know but if you got good perimeter defense and all that man you should be able to just slow people down at least you know because some people they just let let people run to the goal with no problem for the steal we're gonna take that up to 85 and that will allow us to get silver interceptor and silver glove that's very important Jumping those passing lanes, getting those on-ball steals. For the block, we're going to take that up to a 75. Not super high, but not super low at the same time. You are a point guard, so you don't need 93 block or 87 block or whatever. A 75 is just fine. You do get chased down artists on goal, so you will be able to block a lot of shots. For the rebound, we're going to get the defense rebound to, I mean, the offense rebound to an 84. Now, you can take it to an 85, excuse me. You can take it to an 85 if you want to. Um, that's totally up to you. Uh, if you want rebound chase on silver. That's an option you can get, but I just leveled it at an 84. And for the defense rebound, we're going to take that to an 81. And as you can see, we do get 25 defensive rebounded badges. Of course, I would go with Pogo. I would go with Interceptor, Chase Down, Clamps, Glove, Box, um, with Pogo. Yeah, I already said Pogo. And I would probably throw in, um, what did I say? Let me, let me go back over there, man. So Box, Glove, Clamps, Interceptor, Chase Down, Pogo, and we'll probably use Anchor. And if I have enough bads, I use rebound chase. That's just me personally. I would use rebound chase. I don't know about you. But let's go ahead and get it to the green bean. Make your girl scream bad. We're going to take that three-point shot to an 80. You can take it higher than that if you want to. It's total up to you. And we're going to get that mid-range shot to a 74. Free throw is a 61. Not bad at all to have 18 shooting bads on this bill. Of course, we're going to go with Am Claymore. Uh, corner specialist. Catch and shoot. And you can throw in limits range if you want to. But I've been using that catch and shoot lately with my bill, and I shoot lights out, man. I'm telling you guys now that catch and shoot is something serious. A lot of people say, oh, you can just use it on bronze. Nah, man, I'm putting that catch and shoot up high, man. If you do a lot of catch and shoot, use the badge like you're supposed to. For the re um, for the finish, I'm sorry, we're going to take the driving dunk to an 87, and that will allow us to get postal rise on silver. We also get limitless takeoff on gold. And the reason I did 87 and not 84 is because, as you can see, at 84, you get bronze poster rides, you get uh, silver limited takeoff. We don't want that. At 85, you get silver poster rides. At 86, you get limited takeoff on gold. And at 87, you get an extra badge. For the driver layup, we're going to get that up to an 80. And the close shot is a 75, which will, I mean, 76, which will allow us to get that extra badge. And we get fast twitch on silver. For the standard dunk, we're going to get that to a 68. And as you guys can see, we do get 18 finishing badges on this bill. Me personally. I will use fast twitch, posterizer, fearless, limitless takeoff, slithery, okay? That's 2, 7, 11, 17, uh, 23. Not bad at all. We got 18. We get a plus 6. So that go from 18 
to 24. Not bad at all, man. You have enough badges, you can go ahead and add rides up if you want to. But let's get into the sauce. But before we do, you already know what time it is, man. Hit that like button, hit that like button. 50 likes is the goal. Speed with ball, we're gonna get that to a 75. Ball handle, we're gonna get that up to an 87. Great ball handle on this build. Pass accuracy is an 86. That's even better, man. You're gonna be a great passer with this build. You get gold, need a thread. Of course, we wanna use that badge. We wanna use clamp breaker handle for days. Vice grip, quick first step. Don't win unpluckable because you don't wanna get plucked like a chicken. Hyperdrive, anchor breaker, uh, and dimer. Those are some of the badges I would use, but a lot of people use floor jenner as well. Um, I, I've been hearing people talking like the whole team use a floor general, you know what I'm saying? So maybe me and my squad should try using the floor general on all our builds and see if that make a difference in the way that we play. And I will try to mention that to them, to the guys uh, later, and hopefully um, it, it will help us play a little bit better. You never know. So for this build right here, as you can see, we have everything we need from the playmaking, the finishing, the shooting, the defense. We have everything. We got 18, 18, 23. And 25 that's not bad at all and when you can get that many badges in each category man you're gonna be a great build but remember I mean you're gonna be a great player but remember it don't matter what things look like on paper that does not mean you will play the way you see your favorite youtuber play that say for instance if I created this build and I went out there I was doing what I'm doing and you create the build the exact same way and you don't play like me then you'll say the build trash with when it's really not the build is you you know what I'm saying? So don't go out there doing people like that, man. If you make a bill and if you're not playing good, you're just not playing good. But don't say the bill trash just because you can't play. Now, for the speed, we're going to take that um, that to an 82. Acceleration to 80. Strength, leave it right there. Uh, vert 75, of course. And the rest is on stamina. Now, let's go ahead and get into these takeovers. So, I'm just going to choose something for the video. Remember, you are a diamond inside out score. So, we got finishing. We got playmaking. We got a uh, perimeter defense and we got rebound okay so you can choose what you want to choose that's totally up to you i i, I really thought we would have had a, a sharp shooting takeover uh but it is what it is man we just choose something it don't matter um i'm not telling you what got what takeover to choose i'm just choosing something now so let's get into it man we do have shades of come on 2k come on we got alonzo we got penny and we got Lamelo. those guys name pop up all the time and the build name is a diamond inside out score. And that's the build, people. Make sure you like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel. Love those that love you. And I'm out of here. Like last, y'all. Charge!